we all do all sorts of different sports and leisure and hobbies as well um, that require movement, agility, conditioning, strength, stamina. And I think the more that you can do to mix that up, that training up, uh, the, the better it is for you. Welcome to the Swifty Podcast, inspiring positive change through design, innovation and technology. Hello, welcome to the podcast. It's pretty cool, this one. It's the first. We're going to be launching Swifty Fitness and we're here to tell you all about it. <laughs> Do you like my energetic moves? Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, so... Um, Swifty Fitness is an exciting new category for us. Um, we've been planning this for quite some time. And today, so when you're watching this podcast, it'll already be live. But today, Friday, what's the date today? 30th. 30th of October 2020, we launched our balance board, which uh, we manufacture here in Manchester. So today we're going to be talking about why we're moving into this other area for the brand what it means and what the future holds. Mm. It feels good, doesn't it, to yeah. diversify? Mm -hmm. Feels like a bit of a pivot. Yep. Um, and definitely inspired by events of 2020. Yeah, sure. So 2020 has obviously put the world into a little bit of a uh, whirlwind when it comes to trying to get stock, trying to se secure our supply chains. Business-wise. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the, there's the, obviously the, the virus, but the, the knock-on effect to uh, businesses and supply chains globally, as you're probably aware, is um, it's going to impact, I think, for quite some time. So um, we, as a business, need to diversify. And home training, obviously, is massive because exercise is one great way to stay fit and healthy. And to this is how Jason has spent lockdown. He's been training really, really hard. <laughs> And actually, at, right at the beginning in March, mm. um, Jason built us a rig in the garden. Yeah. Um, for you and the kids. Mainly for the kids. Um, basically a monkey bar ri rig. Yep. But it's big and high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It? And it's awesome. And it was, it's been used nonstop. Yeah. The kids and, have loved um, it, haven't they? You use it for training. Yeah. And having this rig meant we could attach loads of like different equipment to it and try different exercises. Yeah. yeah. And at the height of lockdown, you were in work on your own. Yeah. Um, sales were a bit crazy. Yeah. Um, That's right. All the team I, was remote working. Yeah. All the team was working from home. I was at home with the children um, trying to do homeschooling. Um, and we had this rig to just like get a break and go out into the garden. And it was really so. nice because the weather was nice as well. So we were quite lucky. Um, but it was, for me, it was, a uh, um, something to really get stuck into and focus to kind of alleviate the stress and the anxiety of stuff that was going on in the world. Because my personal take and my advice for anyone is to, um, just focus on stuff that you're in control and influence over. And that's like exercise, fresh air, eat well, sleep well, your closest loved ones, stuff like, are you going to catch a virus or is the government doing the right thing is so far removed from our individual ability to mm -hmm. influence or change. Like, yes, of course you can have an influence or change, but something that's direct and immediate, I think I just try and focus on that. And that really helps me to feel good about myself, feel good about the day, be more productive and get and get through this 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 weird time. Yeah, and I hope it inspires our community to do the same because I think a lot of people find it hard to look after themselves, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. Like that's it's easy to be motivated to care for somebody else. Yeah. I think. But when we're thinking about ourselves, it's like, oh, you know, some people find that difficult and yeah. having some fun equipment can yeah. really help and inspire a different routine and, um, you know, keep us healthy, which is one of the most important factors yeah. to, you know, mitigate ill health. 
Yeah, for sure. I think having the right nutrition, having the right exercise, having the right mindset is so important. And through lockdown, um, I've seen, you know, friends that have gone either way. It's like they've either Mm. taken this opportunity to kind of like have a bit of a holiday and don't do much and put on weight and drink a bit too much and lie in a bit too much. And then it's like a spiraling yeah, it gets out, have it really gets, unhealthy coping mechanisms. It gets out of control, and then they feel worse, and they feel worse about the situation. And I think it's it's for, I can I empathise with that because I can understand how easy that can happen. I also have been in that position historically myself. Like I think when we when we were younger and our kids were younger, you know, dealing with the the pressure of becoming a new parent is like it's probably one of the biggest shifts in your life that you'll experience. Mm. Is like because you don't really sleep it's a whole new thing you don't know if you're doing a good job you don't there's no real feedback it's like it's very hard to know and um yeah I put on quite a bit of weight when we were younger not a lot but you know a little bit and felt definitely more unfit like now I feel like I'm the most physically fit of probably my my entire life like I've never felt this physically able and and that's kind of like um that that so part of the inspiration about launching the products was obviously riding a scooter is great for your fitness it's great for your stamina great for your endurance um so going into training equipment that can help also give you that experience not necessarily out on wheels in the awful rain that we often experience so something inside in the home the balance board was a really good starting place because Mm -hmm. Um, the balance board if you're struggling with switch kicking the balance board will really help you uh, gain some confidence uh, to be able to do that should we just quickly show the balance board yeah some people may be not familiar with it yeah so it looks like a mini surfboard yeah it's longer than a skateboard or yeah yeah a little bit longer and the, the principle is that you have a you have a roller So we've got this, if you you hold that. So we've got this solid cork roller. And I think Saul's going to throw some images in here to show me demonstrating it. But um, the idea is that you put the the board on the roller and you learn to balance by using uh, all of your your, your muscle groups. Um, Your feet are on the board and you basically rock from side to side. Um, we've kind of, as we always do, done it a little bit differently at Swifty. And the design of the board has got loads of little features that I spent all summer kind of playing with. One of the, the one of the things that often happens with people when they get on a balance board, if they're not very confident, is they go flying off it. <laughs> and so these little fins, we've got four th- fins here, they locate and stop the roller from rolling past the end of the board. So if you do have that and you slip... The, the board's not going to go off the roller and it should go some way to mitigate uh, having, you know, a serious fall or something. So our advice uh, is to always start um, when you're learning how to ride a balance board is to start between a door frame so you can hold onto, a door, onto the door frame itself and just learn how to rock over so you get your weight over the roller so you're on the roller. That's probably the hardest bit to gain some confidence yeah. is that first also bare feet yes yes this is a this is a huge and topic and also maybe carpet or a yoga mat or something a bit soft yep yep rather than a hard floor yep. is better yeah yeah don't don't do it on concrete just or something. don't just do it straight on a hard floor if it's your first time as camilla said um you know in front of the tv on i don't know the <laughs> the um your your rug and chuck some pillows down or something just in case obviously move have a friend to hold you onto yeah that's a good point (laughs) yep yep the kids absolutely love it so if you've got kids and you buy one kids are really good at it yeah our kids are great yeah they they've they've just there's there's this i think there's this thing with kids like the the fear of like going over and tipping over Maybe it's because they've got less muscle memory of that actually causing an accident and hurting themselves. You think? Yeah, I think so. I think it's because they're closer to the ground. <laughs> yeah, but for them, if you think about it, it's it's more of an epic movement because they're tiny. So it feels bigger mm, for maybe. them. Uh, anyway, so um, 
yeah, let's talk about feet because yeah. this is a really interesting area. I've often been really interested in the idea of when you're scooting, what does it do for your feet? And I've often said, I reckon it's really good at strengthening your feet because it's making you come up on your toes. Um, unlike when you're riding a bicycle, which is very, you know, the, the, it's a very mechanical movement. You're in the same you're in the same lane all the time, right? And what I mean by that is yeah, your you feet are kind of going in the same motion. You don't have the full motion of your feet. Yeah. You don't flex your ankle and yeah. push with your toes yeah. on and a bike. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's something wrong with it. I'm just saying there's there's a difference there. And then and when you look at um you look at running and how impactful running is, like I've been running since lockdown. You know, I, I, when not everybody's made for running. And as much as I love running, I have hurt myself a little bit by running. I've got a little bit of a knee thing going on. So anything that's kind of lower impact or helps you build strength in those joints is really good for you. And we, we've done some, I know you've done quite a bit of research in foot strength and kind of arches and what that does and what our, what our shoes and modern day shoes have done to our feet. And bearing in mind, you know, there's, there's still people that, from tribes and stuff that run around with no shoes and they've got those really thick leathery feet and they're absolutely fine and their feet look totally different to Mm. our feet when we take our shoes and socks off obviously we're not all going to start doing that but the balance board is really good for activating those muscles and it's going to be interesting over the next six months 12 months to see what customers feedback is when it comes to foot strength Mm. and um yeah but it's not just about strength it's about general balance and coordination which you can train to improve on yeah and for example if you um have one really dominant leg and struggle balancing on the other leg yeah when you're scooting you might have realized you have a bit of a tendency to one side Mm. that is something that you can practice and improve on easily and a balance board is something that does that yeah so this um destabilizing the lower body by being rocking on on the roller um basically activates synapses in the brain and these can be trained so you're firing them whereas you're not used to if you're sitting at a desk all day or whatever yeah Yeah. and all those things kind of pull together the strength you know the leg strength foot and ankle leg hips and core and also the back. Yep. Um, well, everything is, really. You use everything as a way of trying to balance. Like when yeah. you go right to the end and you're like, you need to get back. Like even your head, you know, using your head, anything you can yeah. to try and yeah. bring the center of gravity back over that pendulum to rock back in. Um, so it's quite difficult to begin with. Yeah. But yeah. it's something you can improve with it's repetition. Super, super addictive as well. Like, <laughs> it's, I'm often like just nipping out of the office to have yeah. a little go it's great and you might think oh look at jason on this balance board he makes it look so easy <laughs> <laughs> it's practice as well but um you do just make it look pretty easy but i think that's just shows how you can improve and, and yeah. get good so yeah yeah i've got a bit of a way to go i need to practice You've got to put the miles in i know i've only been on it three times well there you go that's right that, that's it i've been on it loads that's the difference <laughs> it's, there's no special skill it's just put the work in yeah. like anything it's put like the work anything. in do the reps you'll get better and it's and that's good so there, there was there was uh the other point that we would before we started the po- podcast and that's about your pro pro proprioception. proprioception i don't know why i struggle saying that but that's um, about spatial awareness, yeah. about where you are. And um, I like this idea of um, focusing on your feet being this like foundation to any activity, any movement, um, and how the balance board can help with the proprioception by training those synapses to actually fire and go off and if you think about if you the more you can make them fire the more that you can build that neural pathway in terms of all the different movements it's obvious isn't it the better you will become at whatever given sport you're going to also do because let's face it you know i'm not we're not here saying you only do scooting you only do bounce boarding we all do all sorts of different sports and leisure and hobbies as well um that require 
movement, agility, conditioning, strength, stamina. And I think the more that you can do to mix that up, that training up, uh, the, the better it is for you. Yeah. And especially when people get older, yeah. like trips and falls is one of the yes. massivest you know, yes. problems for the yes. elderly. Yeah, that's and so very true. This sort of training is just, you know, never too late to start. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So it's um, or too early, or too early. Yeah. So, um, so, so for Swifty Fitness, yep. um, that's a good kind of little intro to the balance board. There's loads of information on the website. Um, there's also going to be a full training video and training visuals that will come out to show you some exercises. You can do stuff like do do press-ups on the board. You can do uh, little squats. You can do planks off the board. So it's not just one-dimensional. You can actually work out all your body. And uh, if you imagine your feet are on the board and you go and go onto the ground, go into a press-up, that's really hard because it basically... Uh, gives you all this twisting and torsion in your core which uh, activates all those tiny little intercostal muscles that are in in between your ribs mm-hmm. and all around here so that kind of twisting motion if you can build and strengthen that that's great like if you think of like tennis or you think of any of that kind of fast movement sports where you've got to change direction very quick those tiny little muscles they do a lot to support your frame and your bigger muscle groups that deliver that power or that um yeah you know the stroke or or whatever it may be so um and that sort of training really helps to kind of counteract this sort of sedentary lifestyle that we're we're becoming guilty of you know i i sit at my desk all day yep and you know when we get home we sit you know and we we lose strength in our core yep and lower back hips by sitting too much sitting yeah so this can really help to kind of counteract that yeah for sure yeah i think we should talk a little bit about the manufacturing side of the boards Mm, so what's really what's really really cool is that we've um this project's been um because i don't want to do it a disservice by saying it's simple but because it because it's it's not got many components to it and so by the very nature of that it, it gave us a bit more freedom to to be kind of like really put into it a set of values so what i'm trying to say is with a scooter it's got like a folding suit has got 300 and something components 360 something components they've all got many processes and it's pretty complex so what you can do with it you're somewhat limited in response to um okay let's just choose all of the most environmentally friendly materials well you're pretty limited Uh, you can get as much aluminium as you can but you know there are some plastics or some uh, um, um, chemical based treatments in there that are not so great and it's very hard to take those out of the process with a balance board it's 100 percent birch plywood it's uh, we know where the plywood comes from fsc approved um, there's no nasty chemicals in the paint or the treatment we use an osmo paint which is a, a plant-based pigment it's uh, an oil um, we use a hard wax oil finish for the top coat so it's got it's got it's nicely treated um, it, it will last outside it's kind of waterproof but we recommend you bring it in and, and don't leave it out in the rain um, but it it's been a project where we've been able to put a lot of those values into it so the packaging is all everything's locally sourced uh, biodegradable biodegradable uh, there's there's no plastic in the product to, at all do you want to just show the cork roll yeah the, the cork roll is pretty heavy it's 100 percent cork um we we do make this in portugal um obviously that's well not obviously maybe you don't know but portugal is like one of the biggest producers of cork in the world and manufacturers and we've got a pretty cool manufacturer that's doing this it's 100 percent solid so it's a pretty heavy object but you can use this also as a foam roller so or a hard foam roller um so if you've got any kind of like stresses or strains and you need to it's like just a deep tissue massage isn't yeah it? you can yeah. roll on it yeah and actually cork's so nice because you don't sweat on when you hold it you know what i'm trying to say 
because it's a natural material. You don't get that sweaty feeling. Oh, the perspiration. If you're hot. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, compared to a plastic foam roller. So yep. for a deep tissue massage, mm. that's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um, yeah. Break down that fascia tissue. I just love that cork. And it's got a cool print on the end. Yeah, it's got <laughs> Let the Good Times Ride and Roll on there, which is quite nice and uh, a beautiful graphic. Um, so it's 150 millimetres in diameter. Uh, you can get smaller ones, but we kind of felt that having the amplitude that this can give you when you're riding it, it's so nice. It's like you can actually get really high mm. and that's really fun. If you have a really small roller, the amplitude is way lower. And it's so you not, sort you just, of bump yeah, more you easily. Just, yeah, you're just rolling from one side. With this, you can really go wee up and down. And, yeah. it's, and, and that's, side. that's what it's about. It's about having fun. So the roll is 100% cork. Oh, we haven't talked about the bracket. Oh, yeah, the bracket. So we decided to develop this uh, um, hanging bracket. And so will bring up on screen as I'm talking an image of what it looks like mounted onto the wall. But, yeah, it's all manufactured out of 18 mil. Uh, birch plywood again and it's just a nice way to store the roller at home on the wall out the way um, so that you can get to it yeah whenever you want so they're cool so you can buy these individually if you've got like yoga mats yeah. existing rollers you want to store yeah so if you've got a normal just uh, um, foam roller and it's strong enough um, you can just roll on that. So if you even just want to buy the board, you can buy just the board if you want to. Um, so everything is made here apart from the roller. Uh, the packaging is locally sourced as well. And it's really nice to be able to deliver a project that's so locally sourced. Um, and and we've been making again. So it feels yeah. nice, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Because that's what we do, really. And that's how we started a scooter by making everything here yeah made them all um and that's what we know make stuff <laughs> yeah it's cool so that's just the start the balance boards are just the start of a whole slew of of products for swifty fitness and it's going to be aimed around uh commercial and also uh home training so we've got some really nice grips that we've developed uh to build your finger and grip strength um, we've got a really cool chin-up bar system which they'll hang off uh, we've got some olympic rings that are going to be coming all sorts of pulling and pushing devices uh, just to help you train at home and get fit and strong okay. so and they'll all be made here all be made here mostly wood mostly out of plywood yeah i love birch plywood and it machines really nicely um, it's a pretty stable product it's a reliable product um, we know how to use it and fabricate it. We're set up now to manufacture here and um, it's great. We've got more staff uh, now working in that area. We need more as well. So if you're local and you're skilled in woodwork, let us know. <laughs> Come along. We need more help. We need more hands. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's cool. It is cool. And let's build some strength and balance. Yep. <laughs> yep. Strength and balance. So really excited to see what you guys think uh so if you've just bought a balance board yeah. or you've had one some time and you're watching this podcast please let us know obviously we always love feedback and love to know what you're up to so yeah thanks for watching thanks for watching see you next time bye, bye.